All right, so today I'm going to do an enclosure for the spider, the black widow, and I'm going to make something for it to put in here, and I'm going to use sticks that I've got now the yard. I've pre-cut them. Now, I don't know if it matters, but I stuck them in the microwave to basically kill anything on them, hopefully. Um, the plan is to do something like this. Okay, take two. So, I have a few things I gathered. The sticks out of the yard. I have some zip ties. I have a small saw if I need it. This is just a drywall saw, but it's got super gruesome looking teeth on it. I have the insert out of a roll of toilet paper. I have an enclosure. I have a black widow over here and I'm going to put her in the here because I'm starting to see mold in that tank so I need to clean that. On the bottom of this I use sawdust. There is some plastic shavings from when I was doing some uh, epoxy uh, woodworking. Um, I was making these little eggs on the lathe and these are the shavings from that. So. Here it goes. I'm going to do it live, at least on film. I've never done it before, so we'll see what happens. Uh, the goal is to create something that's going to be off the ground that she can build a nest around. I'm going to use zip ties to hold this together, and then I have a hot glue gun that I'm going to glue things together on it to make it look like a little house. So I have to go get that because I left it in the other room. So I will be right back. Okay, so I got the hot glue gun plugged in. I did get a couple snips for the zip ties. I am in my kitchen. So if my wife sees me, she's probably going to murder me. But... You know, the things we do for our animals. So let's zip tie this guy right here. Just to see how it holds up. It's going to be very basic, hopefully. Because um, I'm sure I'm going to have to... Let me snip that right there. I'm going to have to switch tanks again. Yeah, that'll work. And I think what I'll do is just put another one here. Like that. I'm going to zip tie that. I think to there. Get that started. Maybe we will readjust this. That'll work. Zip ties are great because you can do you can do tons of stuff with zip ties. Um, there we go. You know they're not pretty, but they're great for clamps. If you have small projects and you need something to clamp together, you can put a tremendous amount of force on them. Yeah, I think that'll work. That. Let's see what it looks like in the tank. Something like that. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. It is a small tank. But I've seen a lot of things online that were smaller than this actually and while that's probably okay to me I don't think I would be happy living in that so I don't think a spider would be happy living in that you know because it is so tiny so I think what I'm going to do is put another zip tie 
right here. Actually, I may glue gun, hot glue gun that once this gets up to temperature, which it is not yet. It's getting there. It's warm. I don't recommend doing this, but I'm stupid, so I do it. All right. You can feel it getting warm. You'll probably smell it once it starts melting. A little bit of pressure. You'll see it oozing out. So I'm going to hot glue that like that. And then I'm going to take this and mount this under here. Like that. Or I have all these little sticks. So I could also make a small enclosure. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut this in half with... I uh, don't have a razor knife, so let's just take this little saw here. It is paper. You know what? I can just cut this like this. Scissors. Yeah, everything in the kitchen just fell down when I shut that door. I'm going to cut this around like this. Is she small? Well, she's not super small. I mean, her abdomen's about that big. But I think she just needs a little place to hide. She's really on the ground right now, and she, she seems to like it there. But I got to get that wood out of there because it is... Okay, so we're starting to have a little bit of hot glue protrude. And it's a little bit sticky, so it's it's starting to warm up. There it goes. Okay. Uh -oh. Glue that together. Like that. Hot glue is like caulk, except for it's quick. Of course, nowadays you can get caulk that's pretty quick. All right, so I'm gonna take that out. Like that, because that's our basic shape. We're gonna set this right on the counter. I'm gonna put this here. Now I think what I'm going to do, this is going to go here, like this, if you can see that. So I think what I'm going to do is put that like that. So let's get our hot glue gun and put a little dab here. And try not to burn your fingers. Put a little dab here, like that, and reposition that, and just put a dab right there to hold it, okay. Now, let's let that set up for a second, and it really creates its own spider webs too, doesn't it? Yeah. What a mess. Hmm. Look at that. So it's funny because I keep her cage in the kitchen at the window. Because it's the safest place with having a dog and cats. Because they don't get up on the counter. They're very good about that actually. Well the dog wouldn't get on the counter. But the cats are very good about it. And... Um, well it, it keeps the... Daylight and the night times so she can kind of somewhat be out in the wild. She can see out the window if she wants to, but uh, I don't know if spiders like looking out windows, but typically they're in the house. 
So we actually found her outside on a job site that I work at. And of course, everybody automatically freaks out because it's a spider. And they freak out even more because it's a black widow because they think they're going to die. Which is a joke. Um, they're, black widows are just like any other animal. They don't attack you unless you step on them. Play with them. Give them a reason to bite you. So right now, this is what we look like. And that just burned my finger half off. So this is what we look like. I may have to just kick that up a little bit. Let me just check it. So, I think I'm going to add a leg in the back. I'm going to bring it up right here. And then I'll put this guy under it. Look at that. It looks like it was made for that, huh? I'm just going to hot glue that. I'm not going to try to zip tie that together. Mainly because I doubt it would work. Because there's no place to wrap it. So we're just going to do that. Like that. Maybe we'll add a little support. Just because, you know, they live in wood piles. They live close to the ground, from what I understand. So, we're going to give her as much of her habitat as we can. Um, even though she's in captivity, but... It's 30 degrees outside, so we want to try to keep her at least alive until spring. And I can either release her or just keep her as a pet. That's good. That's good. That's real good. So I think what I'm going to do is close this end. Kind of not really close it off, but just kind of. Throw some sticks around it so that it looks more natural, I guess. So we are going to just, just throw some sticks on here and burn your fingers off while you do it because that's hot. I don't do a lot with the hot glue guns. Um, no reason. I just don't, I don't really do, I've never done this before. I do a lot of building, framing, and trim. Hobby-wise, it's mostly painting or carving or playing with a 3D printer. So, and of course video games, that's all I do is play video games because I have no life, but I get a lot of enjoyment out of it. You know, I think there's no age on it. I also think that a lot of the games coming out are mature games that really parents should be responsible and not allow their children to play them with the content that's in them. And if they do allow their children to play them, then they should be responsible enough to take consequences if the children go out and do stupid things because they saw it in a video game and quite frankly they should limit the time being played because you know video games are they're so crazy now the amount of stuff you do in them so I'm just going to hold this together and let it set up it's Want to slide all over the place. Let's see how we're looking. So the idea is the spider is going to go in here for her cover. She'll make her web um, around this. And then if I have to change it again, 
I think I can just pick this straight up out of the enclosure. If she's in there, even better, I'll put it right into another enclosure. And uh, yeah, see, that's going to work fine, I think. It does stick up a little bit, but the lid is tall, so it doesn't hit that. Pain to get the lid off once it's snapped on, so we're not gonna mess with that. Um, get this back out. So yeah, it's like a little spider condo, I guess. Let's, uh, does that even fit in there? No, let's trim this. Look how hard it is to trim them. You just snip them. Or break them. Nothing, nothing drastic there. So you can break it before you get it done. Alright, let's, let's glue this here. No reason in particular. It's just how I got all these sticks. I'm just going to use them up. Okay, like that. I've seen so many spider houses, and they're pretty intricate, where they put little houses and crystals and all that, but, you know, if you're constantly cleaning it, it means you're constantly having to take all that stuff out of there, and I just don't know how... You know, we want to try not to disrupt the spider as much as possible, but you know, that you have to do it because you have to keep it clean. But I, I kind of met two minds about it because spiders, I mean, black widows are they like damp, cold, or damp, warm spaces. Sorry about that. Uh, when it's cold out, they kind of go into a dormant mode where they'll curl up into a ball and then you know they're very lethargic they don't run around a lot but um I just think that you know if they are used to damp spaces then they're used to things like mold but that could be just a me thinking stupid stuff because I do that sometimes but, um, I'm just using these sticks up because I have them. You know, we all go overboard when we do stuff like this, and I've already gone past that, but you know what? Who cares? It's, uh, it's just basically the video is to show you that you don't need to go buy a bunch of stuff. Um, I got these out of the yard. The sawdust and the the uh, plastic shavings I got from doing side projects, but you can use mulch, you can use peat moss, you can use sand. You know, I just happen to have these on hand. I mean, you could probably put a layer of cat litter down. Ouch! Don't do that, you dummy. So you don't want to push on the stick with your finger right in the hot glue because that burns um but you know like i said i'm a dummy so i do it anyway no do that maybe add one more here i know just to make her little condo complete Now I'm going to attempt to take her out and put her in her little new habitat. But I have to be careful because we do have dogs and spiders. I mean, <laughs> yeah, we do have spiders. We have dogs and cats and a wife that would probably be okay seeing it, but I don't want to frighten her to death. Um, she's... So, 
Yeah, that, uh, like I said, I'm just throwing stuff together here. Well, I have one last piece, and then I'm going to call this done. If I don't drop it on the floor. So, I used two zip ties, which you can buy at Home Depot. They're fairly cheap. You don't need them. It just makes it easier because you can clamp everything together with them. Um, I mean, this stuff really is stringy. It makes webs. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of funny. I didn't realize it was going to be that stringy, but whatever. So I'm going to set that to the side. So there, I'm going to call that pretty much done. Um, I think she could work with that. It's it's uh, <laughs> it's quite interesting, isn't it? So, but she has a little hidey place, you know. I got the other half of that. What did I do with it? I must have. Oh, there it is. I wonder if I should put a second one right here, just so just so if she wants to have second place to hide, she's got it. I think I will. I mean, why not? I have it. So let's fill that up. Put a little dab there. A little dab here. Um, little dab over here yeah let's just do this you know she hasn't laid any egg sacs that I can tell so I don't think she's made it um, it might be the wrong season I don't know my understanding is once they made in the wild they can always have uh, fertilized eggs so, if that's the case, you know, maybe she will. At this time of the year, she's probably in the wild, would be going dormant, so she wouldn't be laying eggs, but who knows? And there we go. So we added that. That wasn't a huge deal. And, you know, just keep in mind that spiders are very light, so it doesn't take much to hold them. I mean... This looks like something out of the road, uh, Road Warrior movie, post-apocalyptic uh, world where everything's coming to an end, but, you know, it is what it is. So we just set that in there, I think, I think it'll work, actually, now, now it doesn't want to go in. So what do we change? Why? There we go. There we go. Just push that down. So I think that'll work. Let me get a paper towel. Luckily we're in the kitchen, so it's right here. Wipe this down. fine. I think if I was a spider, I would like that. Okay, so let's unplug the hot glue gun so I don't keep dripping hot glue all over the counter and get the wipe all mad at me. So we're done with the logs. We're done with all that stuff. So I use these for poking. Um, I want to try to find her or that sort of thing. Um, I have a container here that I'm going to attempt uh, to catch her in. So I'm going to bring her cage over now. This is her cage. Now this is just a, it's a, a 
grow box and of course she's freaking out right now because I'm making all kinds of racket. So this is a grow box and I had put these pine cone things in. Well what I found is when I drop bugs in there they go in those pine cone things and they don't come out. <laughs> and now the larger crickets or the grasshoppers I drop right in her web. She's right here. I always have a flashlight handy so I can see where she's at. So she's right there. So we are going to take this lid off. Yes. Now, look at that. I didn't have a lid, so I made one. And she seems to be okay with it. So she is full web. I'm going to pull this back. And it's just ripping. Oh my goodness. It's ripping everything to pieces. So. So she is. Right here. Let's just double check. Yeah. So when I lift this up. You're going to see where she's at. She may run. There she is. I'm going to get a skewer and knock all that down. I got my eye on her. I always want to know where she's at. Like I said, she's, she probably wouldn't kill you. But, man, that is so tough. She is uh, poisonous. Um, I read somewhere where their venom is like a rattlesnake. Not as potent. But for her, it could be now. You got to be very careful because uh, you don't want to cause her to fall or anything. She's she's uh, doing a defensive posture, so I know she's getting ready to move. So what I'm going to do is put this in. Hopefully, I can get her to go in it. I'm just going to set it there for now. And I tell you what. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm not even going to do that. Because she is up inside that piece of wood. She loves that log. But it's so musty. and it, It's got to go. I mean, it, it's so. So what I'm going to do. Is push that down. I'm going to bring her cage over here, her new cage. And then I'm just going to pull this piece out. I'm not even going to attempt to put it in anything. So their webs, their, their webbing the black widow is just like uh, it's it's the strong equivalent of Kevlar which is pretty big now she is all up inside there well, let's see if we can just kind of get her to come out so she's very threatened right now so what I may do is just leave this and let her come out on her own So, I don't know. Yeah, so she's right there. Actually, she's pretty close to my fingers. So I'm going to just very carefully poke in here. There she goes. So she's moving now. And it's very gentle. I'm not trying to hurt her. I don't know if you can see. I'm just going to try to push her out very gently. Just like that, very gently. You don't want to hurt these guys. You just want them to be as calm as possible. Okay, 
I'm going to turn this around so I don't have the sticky uh, point sticking at her. I just kind of All right, come on, little girl. Come on. Come on out. There you go. There you go. Come on. Very good. Very good. Come on. Don't go back up in there. All right. So if she comes out, I'm not going to freak out or anything. Because she won't hurt you unless you squish her. So there she goes. So she's... So you see her? You see her there? Here. That's what she looks like. Isn't she gorgeous? She's beautiful. Now she's doing her pose because she's feeling very threatened. So we are going to just... Now she's attacking the stick. But that's okay. She's really attacking the stick. She has got it wrapped. <laughs> she has put web all over it just now. Okay. I want you to... Come on. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to hurt you. Come on. Come on. Come on, I'm trying not to hurt you. Come on, you can do it. I can barely push this stick through her web. It's so strong. It's crazy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put that up there. Like that. Maybe she'll go in there. Come on. There you go. Come on, you got it. Come on, go inside. Go inside. You can go inside. Come on. So like I said, you do it very gently. Kind of. She cracks me up. She's putting so much web on this that I can't. Yeah, come on. You got to keep going. Keep going. Come on. Come on. There you go. There. You, okay, she's. She's okay. She's moving. So now what she's gonna do is she's gonna keep going around in circles. She's like, hey, who's this big guy? He's destroying my house. So let's put her here. There you go. There you go. There you go. See that? Okay. Good. Perfect. Now she's walking around the enclosure. She is good. She is in the enclosure. All right. Very good. So. Can you see her walking around? I can't tell because of the camera. There you go. So you see her there? She's Now she's walking around. She's going to start creating web. She's getting a feel of where she's at. So we are going to... Um, she's such a gorgeous spider. I've never had a black widow before. I had never seen one in a while until I saw this one. And uh, when I saw her... I decided to bring her home. So I'm going to put the lid on this because there is some critters in there. I don't want them getting out. And that's going to go outside um, to be cleaned. So she will make a nest. So just over here. She's just a gorgeous spider. Now I do need to spritz it with some water. Um, let me put the lid on in case she decides to try to come up top. And once these lids go on, they stop on very tight. And these are pretty good enclosures. Uh, I don't like the fact that the lid is very hard to open to feed them, but I understand the reasoning behind it. Um, so it's just to keep her safe. I'm gonna get some water. Hopefully that sawdust will be okay. It looks like she's, I don't know what she's doing. She's just getting a feel of the place. So, um, she will eventually make a nest, hopefully up in here. She's just walking around saying, hey, this is cool. I've never seen anything like this before. So I will get some water for her. I'll spritz it down. And uh, then I'll have to go get a cricket or a grasshopper 
Hopefully I can find one. It's winter time outside. If not, I'll have to go buy one. And that'll be her little treat for hassle. But I'm gonna leave her alone. Let her get her home fixed back up. And uh go from there. She's so cool looking. So now she may she may nest up top. We just have to be careful when we open the lid. I hope the sawdust doesn't doesn't dry her out. Because that could be bad. You know it shouldn't. I mean she was found on a job site and so but she's uh She's walking around. She's getting a feel for things. She'll start webbing, I guess you could call it. When she finds her way up the log, I think she'll be even more happier. And also when I stop spinning the tank around. There she goes. So she's on the log. She sees, she's seeing her boundaries, I guess. And, uh... Pretty cool. I have wolf spiders in the basement. We have an unfinished part of the basement in the back and they nest in the windows and I just go down and look at them. I don't mess with them. You know, the cats don't get up there. The dog doesn't get up. There she goes. There she goes. So now she's on the stick. So. And she's... She's still putting her feelers out. She's, she seems like she's stuck. Okay, there she goes. So they're very clumsy walking because of their front legs. Now she's got it. Now she's got it. Look at that. She's such a pretty girl. And she's in the it's funny because she took a strand of the uh, hot glue and now she's nesting. That's awesome. So she found a place. She found a place. She is in the tube. She's actually in the second tube that I put in over there. But she may go back and forth. And... Uh, so that, that will conclude this video. I just wanted to see um, the spider and putting her in the enclosure and um, I'm getting looks from my dog because I'm sitting here talking to myself. But you know what? Sometimes my I'm my own best friend. Thanks for watching.